Hey everybody, I hope this video finds you well. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to hook up your old Sony PlayStation 2 to a computer so that you can play it or record your gameplay or even stream your gameplay to a Twitch or YouTube if you're wanting to stream your gameplay. Now, there's a lot of different videos out there that show you how to do this and there's a lot of different ways to do it. The way I'm gonna show you is gonna cost you less than $50. All the items you need, you can buy off of Amazon and we're gonna be using OBS Studio, which is a free software that you can download to do all of this. So the first thing you have to have is something that's gonna be the hardest to find. Hopefully you've got a Sony PlayStation 2. If not, you can still find these at garage sales, places like that, depending on where you find them, they're not too expensive. You're also gonna need the original cords that came with your PlayStation 2. One of your cords should go to the back of the PlayStation and it should have a power outlet on it. And then the other one should go to the back of your PlayStation and it should have another end that has a red yellow and white cable. This is the setup that you need in order to plug it into a TV. Now there's multiple PlayStations out there. There's a slim model, there's the traditional model. So basically you just need a PlayStation that's up and running that we can use. Now what we need to talk about are the other items that you have to purchase. Now I'm gonna put links to all these items in my video or I will tag the items. The first thing is this little gadget. This is called an RCA to HDMI converter. What this is going to do, it's gonna come with this power cord. It's simply a USB power cord. This is going to give the device power. So all you have to do is plug the USB end into a wall outlet, or you can plug it into your computer, anything to give it power. The other end, if you look at it, it's basically got some components on it. We're gonna do some simple color coding. It's same as if you were plugging it into a TV, red to red, yellow to yellow, and white to white. What this is going to do is it's going to take your PlayStation 2 data and it's going to convert it into a format that can be read with an HDMI cord. So that's the next thing that you're going to have to have that hopefully most of you will have out there. If not, there's several different sellers on Amazon that have them. The Amazon basic ones are the ones that I tend to find is the best. You're going to take your HDMI cord, one end of it, you're going to plug into this box. So now we're sitting like this. And then we've got an open end that we need to plug into something else. That's where we need the last gadget that we have to have, which is called an HDMI to USB video capture card. Now this is pretty simple. You can't mess this up. One end of it is USB. You don't have to use this extension that they send with you uh, with the video capture card. I use it because it gives me a little bit more room on my computer. The other end of this is HDMI. Hopefully you can see that. Let me see if I can focus. And all we're going to do is take the open end of our HDMI cord and plug it in to this gadget. So let me talk about a couple of things. You should have three things that are not plugged in. One is the power uh, cord for your PlayStation 2. This cord that's going to your converter box can be plugged into anything. It can be plugged into a wall or it can be plugged into your computer. But this one that's connected to the USB, I mean to the HDMI cable, has to go into your computer. So what this is doing is it's reading our PlayStation, it's converting it to an HDMI format, then the HDMI cable is sending it to this video capture card, and this is going to allow our computer to read it. So now we are ready to go plug everything in, and we're gonna get on the computer, use OBS Studio to see our video gameplay and record it if we want to. Okay, so now we've got everything plugged in and we are on our computer ready to start playing our PlayStation 2. Now, as I mentioned before, you have to have some kind of software on your computer that can read the input coming from your PlayStation 2. The software that I recommend is OBS Studio. OBS is Open Broadcast Software. This software is kind of the industry standard for video recording and live streaming. Now, there's lots of other softwares out there that will do the same thing. I like OBS Studio because it's free. There's no you know free version and paid version that has all these other bells and whistles. There's no uh, versioning on it. You don't have to have an account to use it and it's easy to use. So you're going to go to obsproject.com. You're going to choose whichever version you need, whether you're a Windows user or you've got an Apple device, you would choose Mac. Or if you're running Linux, you would choose Linux. Any one of these will work for what we're doing today. Just make sure you choose the appropriate one for your computer. Once you've got it installed on your computer, I'm going to go ahead and open up OBS Studio. Now, at this point, what I would recommend is have your PlayStation on, have a game in there playing, 
you're not going to see it and you're not going to hear it, but it's going to make finding it a whole lot easier if there's something that we can be looking for. When you go into OBS Studio, the thing I would also recommend doing is go ahead and go to at the menu bar, click on File, Settings, and then Output. Under Output, there's a section called Recording, and there's a recording path that is listed here. If you decide you want to record your game, this is the location that the recorded files will be sent to. So a lot of people get into OBS and they'll start recording their games and then they have no idea where the video files are at. This path is going to tell you where they're going to go. If you don't like it, you can simply choose browse and pick any path you want to. You'll see that mine is going to an E drive, which is an external hard drive. If you've got an external hard drive plugged in, you can send your video files there because depending on how long you play and record, they could get rather large in size. The other thing that some people like to change is the recording format. This is going to determine what format your video files will be in. Some people like .mov, .mkvs, I like .mp4, just make sure you've got the appropriate one chose for what you want. That's really all you have to look at as far as settings. Everything else should work fine. Now OBS Studio has a ton of different uh, settings, but for purposes of playing our PlayStation 2, that's all I would be worried about. So we've got our PlayStation on, we've got a game in there playing, we need to go look for it. Down here in the bottom, there's a section called Sources. We're going to click on the plus. Now, you would think it's going to be Game Capture, but it's not. In this list that they show you, what you want to choose is Video Capture Device. It's going to come up and say, hey, do we want to create a new one or add an existing one? You can simply click OK. We're going to create a new one. If you wanted to rename it, you could rename it up here. So I can say, oh, let's call this PS2. Again, Create New, click OK. The next window that comes up, usually by default, if you've got a webcam, it'll be pointing to your webcam. Click on the device drop-down list and you're going to want to choose USB video. When you make that choice, you should be seeing your PlayStation 2 if you've got everything plugged in and connected right. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm sitting on my computer looking at my Sony PlayStation 2 and I'm ready to start playing. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead, I've got my controller in my hand, I'm going to go ahead and start playing the game. Now you'll notice we're not hearing any sound, but if you look down here for mic auxiliary, you can see that there's sound coming through. We are pointing to our PlayStation 2, so if we started recording right now, we would capture the video from our PlayStation 2 and the sound from our PlayStation 2. It doesn't matter if I'm talking, it doesn't matter if I've got the radio playing on my computer, anything. The only thing we're going to be capturing is our PlayStation 2 because that's the only source that we've got in here. So I'm going to go ahead, let me get it playing and then we'll, re we'll do a recording and then we'll go back and I'll show you the recording quality. So let me get going. Now you might be sitting out there saying, well geez, that kind of stinks though. I can play my PlayStation but I can't hear it. I'm going to show you how we can fix that. First, I want to prove to you that you don't have to have the sound on in order to get sound. So I'm going to do start recording right now. Now you'll see down here it says, hey, we're recording. So I'm playing my game and we're going to be getting a recording of everything that happens. Now bear with me here because it's been a long time since I've played this. So like that fault on the serve. But you'll see there's no lag. I mean, I'm playing a tennis game, so if there was ever going to be a game that it was going to lag, tennis would be a good example. All right, so let me stop this. I'm going to go ahead and just stop my recording. Now, I'm going to show you how you can put on the sound if you want to hear the sound while you're playing. It's kind of tricky. By default, OBS doesn't give you the sound. If you click on this little gear icon under Audio Mixer to the side of Mic Auxiliary, click on the gear icon, choose Advanced Audio Properties, and then again for Mic Auxiliary, over here for Audio Monitoring, change it from Monitor Off to Monitor and Output. And now we should be hearing some sound. Ah. Sorry, I probably should have practiced with this game a little bit before doing this recording. But I can tell you, there's no delay or anything with the game. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. I'll tell you what we'll do. 
we'll just close OBS Studio at this point. I'm going to close OBS Studio. Let's go look for that video file that we went and re we recorded. Now my PlayStation is still playing at the moment. We're just not seeing it because we closed PlayStation. Uh, we closed OBS Studio. There's the video file that got created. Let's go ahead and play it. Now remember, we didn't have any sound on when we recorded this, but we should still hear sound because of what OBS Studio does. And you'll see, you don't hear me talking. There's no delay, there's no lag. Everything works pretty well. So let me go back into OBS Studio and show you just a couple more things. The nice thing about OBS Studio is you don't have to reconfigure everything. Let me cut off this sound real quick. I could simply just turn it down here. Because we set up our source, when you go back into OBS Studio, it will remember your source and it will automatically be pointing to your PlayStation 2. So you don't have to reconfigure this stuff every time. The other thing is should you want to stream, if you click start streaming here, you can put in your Twitch information or your YouTube information and you can stream your games live while you're playing on it. It's pretty simple stuff. I hope the video helps. Do me a favor. If you go through these settings and you get it working, give me a like on this video and think about subscribing to my channel. I don't like asking for likes or subscriptions, but the more likes I get, the easier it makes it for other people coming along trying to do the same thing to find this video. Also, if you have any problems, post some questions in the comments. I'll jump in, try and help you out any way I can. Enjoy playing your PlayStation 2. I hope the video helps.